Well, good morning. It's time for the morning update. But first, uh, let's have some coffee, shall we? Look, I got my Avo mug there too. Avo, where the, the morning update was born. <laughs> so anyways, uh, things going pretty well. Uh, I'm not sick yet, so y'all probably heard about the crazy virus that's going around. Um, some people say it's a lot of hype, some people say it's serious. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know where I stand with that. I guess somewhere in the middle. Um, but uh, I'm disappointed with all the stuff that's gotten canceled. Um, Emerald City Comic Con was canceled. Um, so yeah, I know some people are meeting up and doing photo shoots or something, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> um, so that leaves like Soccer Con in April coming up for next, next con. But, uh, so we were actually talking about, Natalie and Abby and I were talking about doing Powerpuff Girls then, so hopefully that will pan out and not get canceled, but, but yeah, um, and then, uh, I, oh, for SoccerCon, for Sunday for SoccerCon, I'm probably gonna do, um, Cammy uh, from, just like I did last year, but I, uh, you know, she ripped last year, and I ended up... I was like, you know, I can reuse this costume. And so it was a lot to try to repair. So I just took the legs off of it. So, um, so I'm hoping to just paint some tights up with the camo and then I will uh, wear regular tights with the latex. So we'll see how that works. Um, I just didn't want to like, I want to wear the costume again. Like it was so much work and, and, uh, and uh, Huntress uh, Creations, she put so much work into it as well. So yeah, I want to wear it again, but, but yeah, I'm kind of like, man, uh, like no purple hair costumes. Um, I still need to kind of get a photo shoot done of my new Psylocke. So that's all kind of disappointing. But in the meantime, I've been working on, uh, my new tutu, my Gwen Ballerina costume. And I only have a couple layers of the netting left to do. So this is what it, this is what the, the netting looks like it's all bundled up this is uh, layer nine and uh, it's all sewed together and bundled up so then I end up taking it all out and uh, ruffling it and then steaming it and then it ends up looking like that so this is row six but uh, not row layer six <laughs> so yeah so I'm getting excited um, getting all the netting is a big a big deal um, but there's still so much to do. Um, I did make a mock-up of the panty and the basque, and so I think the, the pattern will work, and so I got the fabric for that. So that'll be the next step, is making making the actual panty and basque, and then sewing all 10 layers onto it. Um, and you'd think it would be done by then, right? But no. Uh, after that, you have to actually tack all the layers together so that they don't kind of floof out and stick them all together more. And so that's a whole nother process. It's kind of crazy. But, but I'm learning a lot with this whole thing. I've never made a tutu before. And so it's kind of making something new and interesting. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, um, making the Powerpuff Girl dresses was fun, like being able to make some dresses for someone else. Um, and really part of it was that they their bodies don't vary that much from my body for patterning and so it was a little easier and uh so actually i have another friend who has similar measurements um i think her hips are a little wider but other than that pretty similar and so i'm i've been telling her i want to make her a latex leopard dress for years now but i just haven't gotten around to it and i have the the latex uh the leopard latex i've had it forever so so yeah, I'm hoping to actually go and go on and make that pretty soon here and then send it to her. She's actually modeling down in LA now. And so I'm like, Hey, if I give you this, can you get some shots in it and model in it and stuff? So, so yeah, that's, that could be fun. Um, I was thinking like, what the heck am I going to do with myself this weekend? The Emerald city is not happening. And none of my friends are coming up from like California or anything. Um, and I was like, Oh, I'll go to the, the cheer St. Patty's day parade. You know, I didn't think I could go because I almost said Comic-Con was happening. Well, it turns out the St. Patrick's Day Parade is canceled too. And so is cheer practice. I don't have cheer practice tonight. So I'm kind of like, oh my God, I'm going to go like stir crazy. Um, 
I went into the office yesterday and went to ballet class, but probably working from home the rest of the week. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. This whole thing. I hope this whole thing blows over, and uh, you know, people, the virus kind of dies down. Hopefully, from um, just people not interacting in large social situations. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens, huh? What a crazy 2020 this is turning out to be already. But uh, what else is going on? Oh, cheer. We did a performance last Saturday, so at least we got to do that. Um, that was a, at the SPU uh, basketball tournament. Um, and I guess, like, all the other performances canceled, and so the crowd was, like, really happy to see us, um, that we were there. And so it was good. I, I really like performing. It's stressful. Um, and, uh, but if, you know, if you have enough time to practice, it feels, it feels pretty good. Um, yeah, that's one of the things I like about cheer is being able to perform. Um, I don't really get that from ballet class, but, but I did sign up for a, uh, adult ballet, uh, summer intensive. So summer intensives are, uh, so let's just start with the, uh, you know, kids who grew up doing ballet, taking ballet class, and that's what they're doing. Um, they are often off for the summer and it's a time to go try out and learn new things, uh, and in a, what's called a summer intensive program at another location, you know, somewhere else in the country or whatever. And, uh, so I, you know, I've known about that for a while, but you know, adult ballet is a little different. You know, we have, we don't practice six hours a day. We're not doing this professionally. It's just more for fun. Um, and you know, we only go a couple times a week. And so... Uh, I found out, like it was Point Magazine had an article online about uh, adult ballet summer intensives and, and like listed a bunch all over the country. And so um, looking at all the dates and stuff, I, I centered on one that's at the end of May in Cincinnati, Ohio, actually. <laughs> and uh, kind of random, but I haven't been to Ohio, so I'd actually get a state by going there too, because I'm trying to get all 50 states at some point. Um, so yeah, so I signed up. I'm going to do this adult ballet uh, summer intensive it's just a weekend um, there were some that were week long but I've, I'm taking a lot of time off this year so I didn't want to take off too much more time so so yeah I'm kind of excited about that I might have another friend from ballet going as well so yeah it should be fun but I think that's about it um, I'm still working on getting new blue latex for my new Supergirl costume um, which I'm hoping to get done for July for San Diego. So stay tuned on that. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So I hope y'all are doing well. Um, don't get sick and uh, stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.